Crazy Town's 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Let's start the time. Well, it's funny that you start talking all suave in this video, because I was going to ask that? you, TNT Dynamite, Ooh. Out how on a date? do you yeah. like to approach women in public that you're interested in? So say you're out and you want to, and you see a woman at the grocery store and you're like, you know, maybe I'd like to go up and strike a conversation with her. I, there's a couple parts, so I want to talk about it. So like, how would you approach her? Do you ever do you ever feel weird about doing something like that? Do you have like thoughts pop in your head about anything, or you know what is your strategy on that, or do you do you have any sort of way this, to do that? This guy with the compound question. No, this is a good question. This is a good question. Um, so to be a hundred percent with you, Jonas, I probably would not approach a woman in public. Okay. Um, I have crippling anxiety. Okay. Um. <laughs> How would I do it? I would probably be like, uh, I just walk up and, you know, I do my slow walk, and li lick my lips like <laughs> LL Cool J, and I'd be like, um, I just, I noticed you from over there, and I just had to come over and talk to you. My name is TNT Dynamite. Um, any chance I could just have a conversation with you? Okay. Boom. Something like, and then like, yeah. and then see how yeah, it goes. Yeah, and... yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So All right. Good. But what I what would actually happen if I did it would be more like, <laughs> and they they look at you, they just stare at TNT, you. I was just thinking that maybe you could. And then she like be like, "What? Ew, gross!" And then I cry <laughs> in the car. I get into my I get into my Nissan Altima and I cry my eyes out. Now, when you okay, <laughs> let me ask you this, and then I'll tell my my side. So when so like. From the moment that you would decide to go up and walk up to them yes. and on the way up there, would the you be talking yourself out of it? Uh, I'm talking myself out of it before the scenarios happened. Gotcha. Okay. Yes. And you know what you know what it is, Joe? It's a lot of it's just because I I don't know how people perceive me, but I think that there's like a certain degree of heightened anxiety that people have. Like your your heart rate goes up a little bit more when I when I walk into the room, like oh, I'd be on guard just in case. Right. Sure he's fine, just in case. And I feel like it's even heightened even more with women because they're like, this guy could rape me easily. Well, right. Women like, are already a little more scared of guys yeah. in general. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not the raping kind, but I don't want to come across as a rapist. Kind of like the thing we talked about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. So so with me, like, I haven't done it a lot. All right. I have done it some. Uh, you have. I, I, uh, what happens to me is, like, I'll be like, oh, that girl's cute. I don't even want to go up and talk to her. Then I start all of a sudden... It's like negative thought spiral starts immediately. I'm like, yeah. this girl doesn't want me to go up and bother her. Why does this girl want me to go talk to her? Yeah. Why does she give an F if I'm out here trying to talk to her? Yeah. Blah, blah, all these, you know, and then I'm like, yeah, 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 so yeah. normally what I've done in the past is I use something that is situational. I have in the past been, I have been like, say I'm like at in front of like the raw chicken, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm standing there looking at something. This girl comes up and she starts looking at raw chicken too. I, I have literally said to someone, can I ask you a question? And they're like, what? And I'm like, you know anything about cooking this thing, whatever, raw chicken? You know anything about cooking chicken? And, and then they're like. I mean, honestly, this is a good question to ask a girl before you date her anyway. Well, right. <laughs> oh, shit. And then, and then she, you know, she'll be like, I mean, kind of, yeah. I do. You know, what do you got? And I'll be like, you know, I've been thinking about making some of this. And, like, I'm just not sure. And, like, and then start that, like, situational. And then, okay, and then so. you go through it. Or, be, or just in you're in the aisle, like, the cereal aisle. And, like, you know, I'll just be like, man, you ever tried right. this before? More, more, <laughs> you know? more dialogue based. Like, right, just exactly. natural. Like, um, really yeah. natural. Where as I am just like I'm interested, just don't waste my time. I'm not gonna waste yours. Right, and like I'm trying to figure out what would be the best way to do it. Like you know, because like I've thought about just being like, hey, something compel me to come over and say hi to you. Hi, my name is Jonas. How you doing? Boom, that's perfect. You know, just something quick and easy like that, right? Because they'll either be like, ew, gross, put up their fingers, hiss at yeah. me, or or they'll be like, oh, hey, I'm Souza. <laughs> the, the, the only thing, the only thing that I. I kind of worry about with uh, with the initial way that you described where you like, you know, oh, do you know how to cook this? Blah, blah, oh, blah. Oh, right, right. In the story. Is yeah. that it's, it's almost like a bait and switch because yeah. really you're just interested. And then that puts 
into her mind, into her psyche, into her behavior later down the line, she's going to be like, this guy in public is asking me a question. He's probably hitting on me. And that oh, is, yeah. I'm like ruining it feeds, for everybody else. Feeds into that what women already have like inherently. That with every the, guy that's talking to them is exactly. hitting on Exactly. I feel you. Yeah. So it's almost like a bait and switch, whereas like if you're just up, <laughs> just forthright with it, and every other guy's using the first tactic A, or a majority of guys, I should say, are using tactic A. And not a lot of guys are just being like, I'm interested, let's go. So you can be like, no, I'm sorry, I'm not. I actually yeah. have a boyfriend. <laughs> like, you can just lie to me. Tell me you got a boyfriend. Right. Oh, okay. Exactly. Mom, so yeah, well, good. in my have defense, a nice day. <clears throat> when I've done that in the past, I've I, probably more times than not, I talk to them mm. and then I don't ask them out. Because like if I I can see how that question goes if they're if they if they're humoring me they're kind of into the conversation we connect a little bit mm -hmm. yes but if they like do it they're kind of standoffish they kind of like answer the question start doing their own thing like I'm not gonna then pressure you to be but you know, even even still women are impossible to read they're you're, impossible yeah, you're not to read. Wrong. and a lot of it is because they are experiencing some of the same nerves and and anxiety that right. the guy is experiencing the situation so it's hard for them to give off the problem proper signals and then even if they were a hundred percent comfortable with you you could be married to her for 20 years and guess what she's still not going to give off the right signals because they suck <laughs> yeah. at giving off signals yeah they yeah do. exactly and, and i mean i think guys are terrible at recognizing women are checking them out that's because you gotta like watch every subtle twitch of her finger because if her finger twitches to the left she's pissed off and if it switches to the right you're getting <laughs> your dick sucked tonight you never know with them you never know yeah man it's uh it's it's interesting and I just I'm just curious because it's like it's it's very intimidating to cold cold call yeah. somebody in public to try to like talk to yeah, him. Trying to read messages from a woman is like trying to take American sign language from a cockroach. You don't know what's happening. Yeah, yeah. You but, don't know. They got six arms too. But both to your of point, them. I do think that sometimes uh coming because like if we come off as intimidating men? Yeah. In general, I mean, that it, uh, you know, it's like, it, it makes it even harder for you to see if someone is true. Cause like, you know what I mean? Like if you walk out and they walk and see a guy who's just all smiley and bubbly and like whatever, or someone who's very like, who's, who's a larger dude, maybe quiet, you know, things like that. They're like, what's going Why is that dude? Like, you know, yeah. like, you know, if you're walking around with your arms crossed. Or you're just like whistling down the aisle, like no, nah, I'm not whistling down the aisle. I'm not, I'm not the whistling type. You know, and I honestly, can't help it that if your type is what they find intimidating. Yeah, you know? I mean, yeah, you're not wrong. But I, uh, I have had success, like being more direct. Like you said, like there was one time I went into some store, um, and I was talking to the girl. We were talking about something, and she was being, she was being kind of bantery. We had like some little like funny conversation. I think I was looking for something stupid like hangers or something, and. Uh, and like we had a nice little exchange and uh and she had to got pulled away to go do something else and i was like you know i'm just gonna see if this chick wants to go grab some food so I, after i checked out i just walked up to her she was in the aisle putting something away and i was just like hey can i take you out to dinner and she was just like yeah here's my phone number and i was like oh wow that worked hey. <laughs> i was like hey that works all hey. right and i feel like being that direct sometimes is all because that? it's that surface level, you know, I wouldn't just walk up to a stranger that I've never communicated with and say, hey, can I take you out? Because then it's, you're basically just saying, like, I think you're hot. Like, but if you can have an interaction, have built, show a little bit of rapport yeah, yeah, and then ask absolutely. them. Absolutely. So they, they can see you're not a creep, see that maybe you got something worth saying. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, there's, there's a way to do it. Yeah, so I don't know, man. There's I was just curious. I didn't know if you were like Mr. Suave out here. You're like walking up ladies and just I'm being like. I'm not Mr. Suave out here. You ain't seen me with a woman in, in quite some time, <laughs> Jonas. I'm, and I'm not I'm not looking for any, uh, I'm not looking for any sorrow. Don't play any violence for me, all right? I'm good <laughs> out here, all right? No, no, I just, I don't know, man. Like, you out here in the streets, dude. <laughs> I know how you are. Streets, I know how dude. you are. Like when we what go out, you're mean? Mr. Social. You're out here just talking to everybody. So I didn't know if when you're out the grocery store, you uh, see a fine lady, you're like, hey, girl, what up? Are you insinuating that I'm a gigolo? <laughs> no. Are not. you saying that I'm slanging <laughs> for the low? So you're you're uh just just out here having ladies pay you for the for the service. You do you think I'm out here just handing the glizzy off like <laughs> handing out the glizzy like Terrell Owens or something? Is that what you think is happening? <laughs> just out here just glizzy hunting. Glizzy hunting. No, okay. Anyways, I'm not. <laughs> that's all the time we have for this episode. Go to crazytown.com. Subscribe for Jonas. T -T. Oh, yeah.